Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. For example, using first derivative test, we have to find the local maximum and minimum for this function. So if you see this function, we know that this is an open interval function and I have to find local maximum and minimum. As I told, for open interval function, the local maximum and minima can have happen at f dx x equal to 0 or non-differentiable points. Since it is a continuous function, the non-differentiable point doesn't come because it has all the points differentiable. So only thing is that to find all the points where f dash x is equal to 0, critical points. So critical points are points where f dash x is equal to 0. So let's find f dash x. f dash x is nothing but x cube becomes 3x square minus 3x becomes 3 and 3 becomes 0. That is 3 into x square minus 1. That is 3 into x plus 1 into x minus 1. And this is equal to 0. So I get x is equal to 1 or minus 1. So either of one of these is maximum or minimum, we don't know. So to find whether it is a maximum or minimum, let's do one thing. Let's have the graph like this. Like this is minus 1 and this is 1. Correct. And if we have to find whether at these points my uh, it is maximum or minimum. So let's take 1 first. So if you take 1, I know my slope at 1 is 0. That I know. So slope at this guy is 0. So it is something like this slope. Why? Because I'll, I'll do something here. f of 1 is 0. Let's take a number just next to this. That is f of 1.1. 1 .1. That guy is nothing but 3 into 1.1 1 .1 square minus 1. That is 3 into 1.21 1 .1 minus 1. That is 3 into 0.21. That is 0.63. I know not find the value also, but I just know it's a positive. So that means the number just after this, the slope is positive, something like this. I'll take a number number just less than 1. That is 0.9 let you take. That is nothing but 3 of 0.9 square minus 1. So this becomes 3 of 0.81 minus 1. If you see this is less than 0 right this is less than zero less than zero that means the slope is negative something like this so that means my curve here is something like this correct that means it is a minima value why because the curve is in the u shape minima let's talk about minus one I know that f of minus 1 is 0. So let's suppose my slope here is 0. Let's take a value that is just greater than minus 1. That is minus 0 0.9. If you take the slope of this, this is nothing but 3 of minus 0 0.9 square minus 1. That is 3 of 0 0.81 minus 1. Here also if you see it is less than 0. That means here the slope is like this. Next is if I take a value just left of this, that is let's suppose minus 1.1. So this value will come out to be 3 of 1.1 square minus 1, minus 1 1.1 square sorry. This is nothing but 3 into 1.21 minus 1. So you see this guy is greater than 0. Same, same value actually here. So here the slope is positive. This is a positive slope. So here if you see the curve you get is something like this. So the total curve is something like this actually we have. Correct. So you can see that this guy is a maxima guy and this guy is a minima guy. This is a maxima and this guy is minima. How? Because here we found that at, at this point we found that slope at this is 0, slope at this guy is positive, slope at this guy is negative. So we have curve like this. In this case, we found slope at this guy is 0, slope at this guy was negative and slope at this guy is, you see, positive. Why slope positive? Because if you see this angle, 
which x axis it makes angle 0 to 90 in this case the angle which this guy makes with this guy is this guy with x axis is more than 90 and less than 180 so that's why slope negative slope positive and thus we are able to find the local maxima and minima correct if you want to verify we can verify also so f of 1 will be nothing but 1 cube minus 3 into 1 plus 3 1 cube minus 3 into 1 plus 3 that is 1 f of minus 1 is nothing but minus 1 cube minus 3 into minus 1 plus 3 that is if you see this becomes 3 plus 3 6 minus 1 that is 5 so if you see f of 1 is 5 minus 1 is 5 this guy is 5 and this guy is nothing but 1. This guy is the maximum value, this guy is the minimum value. Let's take one more example. So here also we have to find the maximum and minimum value. Is that the continuous function, so there is no point where it is not differentiable. So I have the only point of critical points are f dash x equal to 0. So here also you have to find f dash x equal to 0. So f dash x is nothing but x 2x cube becomes 2 into 3x square, 6x square becomes 6 into 2x, 6x becomes 6 into 1 and 5 becomes 0. Nothing but 6x square minus 12x plus 6. You take 6 common, this is nothing but 6 into x square minus 2x plus 1 and this is nothing but 6 into x minus 1 square. If this is equal to 0, my x is equal to 1 is the only critical point. Now at x is equal to 1, I have to find whether it is maxima or minimum. Same thing I can do. What I can do is, I have, uh, I can find f dash of 1.1 and f dash of 0.9. If you find f dash of 1.1, this is nothing but 6 into 1.1 minus 1 square. This is greater than 0. Correct. Point this 6 into 0 0.9 minus 1 square, and this is also greater than 0. If you see the sign is not changing, the sign is not changing. That means it is point of inflection. There is no maximum minimum. This is point of inflection. Correct. Why? Because if you see in both the cases, the slope is positive. If you take number left of 1 or right of 1, in both the cases, it is slope is positive. So it is point of inflection. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.